brothers and sisters welcome we are in a big spread of corona often the world over we get new challenges and viruses also play a very important role to enlarge our vision and knowledge to meet these challenges new corona the name given to this virus is because it has got something like corona around that and this one of the biggest viruses normally we have viruses size varying from 004 to about 0.1 micron you know that is the size but this corona is 0.125 micron in the size so it's one of the biggest viruses that we have seen a new virus you know whether it's created by nature or it has been artificially made and made to spread is yet to be known you know while some people opine that as in our search of new dimensions of creating we might have created this and the spread is phenomenal but we have many viruses and we don't have real solution to this viruses but they are not devastating but this new virus that has come we have yet to find an antidote a preventive and there are countries which are working on that to get the vaccines for them and also the antidotes to increase our antibodies well in our system the immune system we have got large number of wbcs white blood cells you know the size of a wbc is 15 microns compared to 0.125 microns of this corona virus you know see how big it is you know and we have large number of such wbcs in our body you know and we have 3000 to 7000 wbcs in one cc of blood you know and these are the wbcs which protect us that the strong defense within us you know and we have to keep our immune system very strong you know the corona virus comes and hits and you develop respiratory distress breathing difficulties and cough then fever all these things start coming up even in asthma we have been able to know that yoga can be of immense help but asthma is caused by non specific bronchial hyper reactivity we have become over sensitive as a result of that our bronchus constricts very strongly and causes the bronchospasm whereas here it is an external virus that is coming and hitting and through the mediation it is going to cause this respiratory distress what is the solution the external modern medical world always looks up a vaccine or a antidote anti diabetic anti biotic things like this from outside but yoga looks at from a different view point first is symptomatic relief you know when you have breathing distress 
when you have symptoms of fever, when you have symptoms of shallow breathing, what should be done? For that, we have simple techniques, Kapalabhati, you know, a cleansing technique to cleanse our respiratory system and see that the respiratory distress is removed. Probable blocks or reticulstrictions or bronchospasms could all be removed by the Kapalabhati dimension. And then we have the slow breathing dimension of pranayama which will help us to remove these dimensions of respiratory disease. This is what we have found in bronchial asthma. And we have published papers in British Medical Journal and lakhs and lakhs of people have got the benefit of this hand stretch breathing, hands in and out breathing and simple breathing techniques which help us to see that your respiratory system gets into a fine condition of growth. This is how we handle the external symptoms using the yoga techniques. We have to look at the root cause of the disease, that is the, our immune system should handle these viruses. When you look at the world at large, how many people are getting this virus attacks? Maybe 0.1 percent or 0.01 percent. Even in China, you know, out of the 82,000 people who got infected, what is the percentage you can calculate? No. And why do the remaining people do not get infected? No. Probably our immune system is very strong. Even if these viruses come, our WBC can smash them out. So this is what we have to do. We keep our immune system very strong. And strong immune system with larger number of WBCs and strengthened WBCs could solve this problem. It is a great preventive. So in yoga the prevention is better than cure is the dictum. So we start relaxing the whole system so that the immune system becomes very strong. Stress has an immunosuppressant factor and the immune system gets into a weakling. So by deep relaxation, we will be able to strengthen the immune system which can combat the viruses from outside, infection from outside and many other NCDs. So what we have to do is give very deep relaxation. Slow pranayama will help but there are techniques of very deep relaxation. Shavasana is a wonderful tool. Do it several times. We have a wonderful tool of cyclic meditation which has been developed based on the Upanishad, Mandukya Upanishad. And it intelligently combines simple yoga postures along with the breathing practices and meditation techniques all put together in a capsule. It will take only 35 minutes and if you do that practice, the amount of rest that you get is three times more than six hours of good sleep. If a person has six hours of good sleep, the amount of rest that he gets is about nine percent as measured by the oxygen consumption reduction. But in 35 minutes, you get 32 percent relaxation. And in the encounter, not only the immune system becomes very strong, you have memory increase, IQ increase and several other dimensions of development of the entire personality. The whole body looks so calm, light and dust. So in the modern life, we see anxiety, tension, stresses have started mounting up. And the lifestyle of shattered growth, uncontrolled speed of the mind 
and such things as the anxiety would all suppress the immune system very greatly. So, we succumb to all these modern ailments you know, and we soon will succumb to the coronavirus also if we do not keep our entire immune system very strong, healthy and with power to smash any virus from outside. So, therefore, yoga works on two fronts. To summarize, number one is to release the symptoms if you have symptoms of the corona attack. That is to do the hand centered out breathing, hand stretch breathing and other slow breathing practices with the dimensions of special techniques that we use. And secondly, to use the pranayama techniques particularly slow breathing. You can do any time, you can do any number of times you know and particularly you can do the brahmari pranayam. Mm. And start working to increase the slowness of breath which is the key essence of pranayama. So, for that you measure what is your brahmari time that is have a deep breath mm. find out how many seconds you will be able to do that. If it is 15 seconds, work on our breathing to increase it to 20 seconds, 25 seconds, 30 seconds. 30 seconds if you do, you will have a wonderful growth. Probably it will be the biggest preventive. Then every day in the evening before you take dinner, whatever time you take, half an hour of cyclic meditation. And that will give you very deep rest to the system and will strengthen the immune system to not only normalcy but with highest strength and thousands and thousands of people have got the benefit of the cyclic meditation for leading a life of prevention, promotion of positive health, rejuvenation and be free from all such external attacks and also the internal challenges that we all face through the NCDs. Therefore, in this age, in these years, in these days of the challenges that we are facing around the globe, what yoga tells us is to spend more time for the practice of yoga. Every day practice of yoga in the morning, in the evening and throughout the day by dealing with our breathing practices and relaxation will help us to combat this disease very effectively. And this is the message that we have for all of us by our ancient seers and let us work on that. Take this as an opportunity to build yoga to our life as a science of holistic living and not just as a set of few asanas. You know. And this is what is propagated by our Prime Minister by the International Day of Yoga which has started spreading all over the globe and we wish you all the best. Thank you.